Welcome, my name is Nancy Sangu and I'm the General Manager of Shia Visual and Access Control Security. And I'm Ian Malamud, the Principal Consultant. CCTV effectively visualizes and records movement, even in poorly lit areas. Installation of the latest technologies in camera surveillance, access control and asset tracking ensures better security for both people and possessions. The image quality of camera surveillance, also known as closed circuit TV or simply CCTV, has benefited from lens improvements developed in photography, as well as enhanced graphic cards used in computers. Telecommunications has made it possible to set up camera surveillance systems in one locality whilst monitoring the activity not only across town but even in another country. Networked high capacity hard drives together with best practice off-site computer backup procedures have reduced the risk of stolen surveillance footage. Driving the camera makes it possible to follow moving objects in real time. Zoom technology using high-resolution lenses makes distant images clearly visible. Monitoring has progressed from viewing a single static screen to state-of-the-art multiple screen camera control rooms. Access control is the foundation of physical security. It is vital that only authorized people gain entry. Access control technologies extend from simple keypad locks using number codes to advanced biometrics such as fingerprint readers and vein scanners. Access control devices being linked directly to computer networks result in real-time recording of all entry and exit activities. The most common application is employee time and attendance. Ensuring only authorized people gain access requires installing the appropriate access control system related to the identified risks. RFID technology is used to track mobile assets. Chips are attached to mobile assets and are read at entry and exit points by specialized scanners. Technological advances in radio frequency identification or RFID has made tracking of the smallest moving assets possible. RFID consists of scanning the movement of a chip attached to an asset. Active chips are bigger with additional battery power. Active RFID chips can be read some distance from the scanner. The distance is determined by the power of the battery. Development of the active passive RFID chip combine the best of both worlds. Active passive RFID chips are small and can be attached to most assets. Battery power makes it possible for the chip to be read automatically by scanners placed away from the chip, for example in a doorway. As the RFID tag is recorded to the second, this information can be matched with other time-based recording systems such as an access control reader. This will identify who passed through the scanner with which asset. The average battery life of an active passive RFID chip allows 100,000 scans. Satellite tracking of moving assets is made possible by using the latest GPS technology. Security needs for the self-tracking and monitoring of motor vehicles, trucks, trailers and ocean-going vessels is provided. The latest satellite GPS or Global Positioning Services, CHIPS and GSM communication technologies form the foundation of this service. On behalf of Ian and myself, thank you for watching. If you'd like to discuss any of the technologies mentioned in this presentation, you're welcome to contact us. Thank you.